Hi and welcome to today's Tech Away Challenge. Now today we've been inspired by art and it was in particular these ideas that we found online that gave us the idea for today's challenge. So the Getty Museum in Los Angeles, California had this amazing idea where they challenge people to recreate famous artworks using things that they have around at home. And you can see some brilliant examples here and more if you go to their Twitter feed at Getty Museum. So there are these examples from Holland as well where people have recreated famous artworks. Now in most of these cases these have people in them but as well as having people in you could also create your own still life where it just has objects in. So I think that there are some examples here so for example this one where someone's created it with objects. Now what we'll do is we'll put a link in the description so that you can go and explore these yourself. The first thing that you're going to need is a painting that can act as your inspiration. Now this amazing site is certainly a place where you can find that and much much more. This is called Google Arts and Culture so if you search for Google Arts and Culture you'll find it or you can just put the web address in artsandculture.google.com now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click up here to click explore and once I've done that then down here it says artists now you could go and look at completely different things um, uh, search in a different way you can search through art styles and all sorts this art movements is great but I'm going to go into artists and if you go into artists here then you'll be able to go into different artists so if I go into Rembrandt for example you'll be able to go in and you'll be able to see lots and lots of different examples of art by that particular artist so this is a detail from a painting by Leonardo da Vinci and if you look, you can see that my colleague Joe and her daughter have recreated it there. This is a painting by Paul Cezanne. And here you can see my colleague Sarah's recreation of this painting here. The next step then is to take the photograph that you've taken and we're going to put some special effects on it. Now this is one of the best places that I found that you can do this. It's a website called photofunnier.com and it's also a free app for Android and a free app for iPhone and iPad. Now quite often these apps are covered with adverts and they're very very difficult to use but this one has got very few adverts on it and it is quite easy to use. So we'll have a look at what this looks like on a PC or a Chromebook first. So you've got all these different effects and they're all gathered into different areas down here but there's a search box up here and I'm going to type in oil painting. So if I type in oil painting I get this oil painting effect here. If I click on it I have to choose my photo so I'll just go upload my photo from my computer and go find the one that I've got. So here we are. Let's see that's the original fruit picture that we had so I'll say I don't want to miss anything out of it so I'll leave it as it is and just click crop and then I click go and so that's it it's turned the painting into an oil painting so I can download that picture and you'll see that it's come to my download here it's called Photophonia Now this is where things start to get really, really cool. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take that same photo and I'm going to put it in a frame or in an art gallery. So you'll see it says galleries in the categories here. Um, and there's another one that says frames as well. So I'm going to go to the one that says frames and we've got all these different frames that I can put the picture in. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose this one where somebody's looking at the picture. So if I click on it, now one thing that I need to realize is that my painting has got to fit into that shape. So if I have a painting that's, uh, that's landscape and this is a portrait size, then it might not fit so well and we'll have to crop some of it out. But let's have a look. 
So if I choose my picture and go to my downloads and then find out the one that I called, um, that was called Photo Funny, here it is. So this is my oil painting that we've just made. Now, you see what I mean? It, it, it's actually, it won't fit perfectly into here. But uh, I think I'll take that much of the painting there. I think I'll I'll just do that much. So I'll click upload and then go. And now we get this. So we get the painting that we had. We get the picture that we had turned into an oil painting and then put into an art gallery that we can then download as a picture. Now you've got lots and lots of different choices here for different effects. There are drawing effects, there are all sorts, and there are all sorts of amazing places that you can put it in. So you can really have some fun with this. Let's show you the Photo Funnier app. Now I've got this open on an iPad, but it's just the same on an iPhone and an Android tablet or an Android phone. So I'm going to search for oil painting. I'm going to tap the search button and search for oil painting. Now you can use other effects, but this is a good one to get you going. So there it is, I'm going to tap on it. So now I go to where it says choose photo and I'm going to choose my photo. So I'm going to choose an existing photo, one that I've already got on my iPad. So I'm going to go to it, tap on the one that I want, which is this one. So I'm going to tap done and then I need to tap go and then this will turn my painting into an oil painting. So there we are, that's done it. So very simply up in the top right hand corner, I can tap it there. And then what I can do is I can save that as an image. But this is where things start to get really, really cool. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to the categories and I'm going to take that photo that I've just turned into an oil painting and run another effect on it. So we've got all these different effects, all these different places where we can put them. So if I go to frames, then I can choose a frame where I have this picture. So I could go to Art Admirer and then choose the photo that I've just saved. So choose photo, choose existing photo and then go and find my photo, which is the oil painting version of what I've done. And now I'm going to tap done. And I just need to tap go. And then this will turn my oil painting into a painting in an art gallery with somebody looking at it. So there we go. So again, if I go to this, the share button and tap save image, then that one does that. But you'll see you've got lots and lots of different choices. Another really cool one is the gallery. So if I come back here and then just have a look, then there are others that you can actually explore and go into. There it is, there's the gallery. So if you want to put your work of art into a famous art gallery um, so that people see it as they walk by, then you could go and you could put it in a famous art gallery as well. So let's go back, take this picture, tap go, and then we've got our picture in a famous art gallery with lots of people reaching up and trying to see it. Click here for more Tech Away Challenge Shirky Flats Mystery videos. Click here for other videos in our Tech Away Challenge series. And click here to subscribe to our channel for access to all our content.